I really just wanted to take the next couple of minutes um, oh, to, to share and to give an update. Um, I came prepared. I have my tissue. Um, <laughs> I haven't really given an update in a while, and so what I want to do is um, is really just kind of catch you guys up on what's been happening with me and my health journey, uh, because we do have some updates. As many of you know, I finished uh, chemo just over a month ago, and so praise the Lord for that. Yes. So fun. We're so, so, so grateful, and I'm so appreciative of all of your prayers and the ways that you guys checked in on us and were there to love us and serve us, and so I, I truly, from the bottom of my heart, say thank you. Um, since um, I finished chemo, the next step was then to do an MRI um, to kind of compare that to my first MRI from November um, after my diagnosis. And so I was able to do that. And a really cool celebration in that is that um, my MRI from... What month are we in now? We're in June. So my MRI from the middle of May compared to mine from November were like night and day different. And so we praise God for that. We're seeing a lot of amazing progress and I'm so, so, so grateful. And I give all glory to the Lord. Um, the next step for me is that this will be my last Sunday for a while um, because next Sunday in the morning, Jacob and I will be headed back to Seattle um, and I'm gonna do... Um, step into my first of quite a few actually pretty extensive surgeries. And so next week, um, I will be going in and uh, receiving a double mastectomy as well as um, taking some lymph nodes. Um, I would ask that you would please join me in prayer as we step into that. Um, one of the prayers specifically that I'm asking for is when, they, when I started this journey, they told me, we're taking all your lymph nodes. And I said, you don't know that. And they said, no, we know, we're, we're sure. We, we don't expect any more than a 20% reduction in the cancer in your lymph nodes. And I said, well, we'll see about that. And well, because I know who my God is, and you know, we just, I have high faith. And, um, and so when they, when they got the MRI results, they called me and they said, your surgeon is so shocked and so surprised by what she's seen, she wants to see you in person. And so all that to say, like we are hopeful and we are praying that they actually won't be taking all the lymph nodes. I'm asking the Lord for, for just a few and that they could leave the rest. So that's my prayer. Um, if you would join me in praying for that specifically as well as in the recovery, uh, we still have a really long journey ahead of us. Um, as you know, I shared from the platform several months ago now that I also tested positive for the BRCA1 gene. If you have walked a road similar to this or you have family members that have walked that road, you know what the BRCA1 gene is. Um, so with that will come a full hysterectomy um, in a couple months and just there's still a really long road ahead of me. Um, and so my prayer is that, um, that God would just continue to be with me. I have felt his presence so near and so dear to my heart. He has been so faithful to me. And as I stand here today, I can say, yeah, I'm really sad and I'm really grieving what's coming. But the flip side of that is as we sang worship this morning, I sang every single word of those songs and I believed every single bit of it from the bottom of my heart. I know who Jesus is and I know that he is good. And so as this is my last Sunday for a bit, as I enter into uh, the post-surgery recovery season, uh, really what I want to encourage you with, because I'm not going to be here to do my little five-minute spiels, is this is that you are loved, that God loves you, and that who he is is real, and that he's good, and that I know I'm not the only person in this room walking through a grief journey. And so if you're walking through a grief journey, we see you, we're with you, it matters. God is with you. And we can do hard things, and we can choose to do them well, and we can choose to honor God in the midst of those hard things because the people around us are watching. Because friends, life is rarely all good or all bad. It's always somewhere in the middle, and what we do in that tension matters. It matters because people are watching, and because eternities are at stake, and because God deserves all of the glory regardless. Amen? Amen. Amen.